Tansett previous year question paper video solution. This is the Tansett 2018 MBA paper data sufficiency question, question number 72. In this question, we have a seating arrangement question. That is the data sufficiency question. Now, frame it. A logical reasoning question in the guise of a data sufficiency question. In the DS question, there is a question stem followed by two statements. In the 4 answer option 2018, how does it relate to these statements? That is the first answer option is 1 if statement A alone is sufficient. That is in the statement, in the data, we can answer the question. Whereas given data in statement B, otherwise we will not be able to answer the question. Then the answer option is 1. A alone is sufficient, B is not. Answer option is 2. If it is the other way around, statement B information, we will be able to answer the question. Statement A will be able to answer the question. We will go with 2. Answer option is 3. Together they are sufficient. A will be able to answer the not sufficient. B will be able to answer the question. That is not true. Then you can see two statements. You can tell me the answer. But if you combine the two statements, you can tell me the answer. We will go with 3. Answer option is 4. When it says both statements are sufficient. That is why it says both statements are sufficient. That is why A alone is sufficient. In this statement, you can answer the question. In the statement, we will be able to answer the question. Independently, the statements are sufficient. We will go with 4. So, I will answer the question. So, in the 2018 paper, we will see the same thing. We will see the same thing. So, we will see the same probability. So, we will see the same thing. We will see the same thing. We will see the same thing. So, read the answer options in that year's answer paper. Understand what they mean before answering the questions. Let's get started. In the question, who is to the immediate right of P? So, P is to the immediate right of P. That's what we can do. Among five persons, P, Q, R, S and T. If they are made to sit facing north, facing north, in the direction face money, you can do it. In the question, P is to the immediate right of P. Q is to the immediate right of P. T is to the immediate right of P. If you say exactly who is to the right of P, data is sufficient. If you have a yes or a r, we will give you multiple answers, which is when the data is not sufficient. Let's start by evaluating statement A alone. That is sufficient or not. Statement A will tell you, r is third to the left of q and p is second to the right of r. So, in this statement, the data is sufficient or not. Let's go to the next step. r is third to the left of q and p is second to the right of r. So, in this statement, the data is sufficient or not. Let's go to the next step. r is third to the left of q. Immediate left, second left, third to the left of Q is R. That is in the part of the statement. P is second to the right of R. So, R is P. Immediate right is this. Second to the right is this. So, we will know R is P. Q is P. This is the same thing. S and T is the same thing. S and T is the same thing. So, if you have three names of data, there are two possibilities that arise. Let's check out what those possibilities are. As I mentioned, in the R, one space, P, Q, there are four names. In the four names, rightmost four places, this could be one arrangement. In the four places, it could be the leftmost four places, this arrangement. So, there are two arrangements possible. In the two arrangements, we know who is here and who is here and who is here. It could be ST or TS. Similarly, in the arrangement, it could be ST or TS. So, in the arrangement, we can tell you the same thing. But let's look at the question. KVN, who is to the immediate right of P? In the arrangement, P is to the immediate right of Q. In the arrangement, P is to the immediate right of Q. In the data, we know there are two possibilities. But in the two possibilities, what do we do? The person sitting immediately to the right of P, in both these cases, is Q. So, do we have a conclusive answer to our question? In the arrangement, but Q is the immediate right to the right. Conclusive is the right. So, statement A alone is sufficient. A alone is sufficient. In this version, there are two answer options. In this answer option, there is one R. Which means that A is sufficient, B is not. We will evaluate it. We will evaluate and verify that. If B is sufficient, we will go with 4. So, we can eliminate two answer choices. 2 and 3 eliminate. 1 is not 4. Let's evaluate statement B alone to decide whether it is 1 or 4. In this part of the video, replay this part of the video. What is the statement in this statement? How do you decode it? Then look at the answer once more before you go to statement number B. Let's look at statement B. Let's interpret this statement. 
Q is to the immediate left of T. So, T எங்க இருக்காரோ அது immediate left is Q. அப்படின் சொல்லாம். Who is second to the right of P? அப்படின் நடத்து? Who யாரு? இங்கு T யை ரப்பர் பண்ணும். T is second to the right of P. T வந்து Pல இருந்து rentாக right. So, இவருக்கு immediate left Q. இங்கு எடுத்துல P இருந்தாதாம். Peak rightல Q இருக்கும். அதுக்கு second rightல T இருப்பார். So, we have data about P, Q, T. இந்த ரெண்டுடத்துல மீதி நின்று வேறுக்கலாம். இங்கே ஒருத்தர் இங்கே ஒருத்தர் இருக்கலாம். இந்த ரெண்டுடத்துல மீதி நின்று வேறுக்கலாம். நமக்கு R, S பத்தி data இல்லை. So, இப்படி இருந்தா, என்ன possibilities இருக்கு? உன்னும் வந்து P, Q, T. இவங்க மூனு வேறும் ஒரு group ஆருக்காங்க. First, ரெண்டுடன் காலியார்ந்தும் rightmost 3 ஆருக்கலாம். இல்லை, இவங்க middle 3 places இதுரியும்பாத்தேன்னாம் Arrangement என்ன நமக்கு தெரில்ல? அஞ்சு பேர் எப்படியும் கொந்திருக்காங்க தெரில்ல? Because R and S எங்க கொந்திருக்காங்க நேன் நமக்கு தெரில்ல? ஆனா, peak immediate rightல் யார் இருக்கான் பாத்தா? இந்த arrangementல் எதுவாய் இருந்தாலும் peak immediate rightல் கொந்திருக்கிறது Q. So, statement B வச்சும் we've been able to answer this question conclusively. Statement A was sufficient. Statement B is also sufficient. Each statement is independently sufficient. So, eliminate answer option 1. Answer option 4 is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, couple of things. One, sign up initially as a trial user at online.ascenteducation.com Basics लेंद आरम्स चिरुकों, Tamil नी English नी सोली कुड़ तिरुकों, most comprehensive online course. You can see a substantial improvement in your TANSET scores if you go with this course. Second thing, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash TANSET MBA. We keep adding videos regularly. Subscribe पनी notification नी turn on पन्नेंगे, यप्पला video add पन्न रोमों, उंगली तिरियों. So that's another easy way to keep track of your TANSET preparation. Best wishes for cracking the TANSET.